Today's project starts off with a piece of half inch by one inch cold rolled steel bar. Just drilling some holes in it. The two outer holes will ride on some shoulder bolts and the center hole will be threaded for a standard bolt. Forgot to program the countersinking in again, so let's take care of that real quick with the drill. And I'm thread milling this. I've had some difficulty with some of the presets on the Path Pilot with the thread milling, and I don't know if it's me or with the thread mill that I'm using, but it seems to be off. Uh, all the all the holes are too tight. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, the geometry on the thread mill, <laughs> I don't know, it varies one way or another. And it, it seems like mine's off in one way. So, I don't know if anyone else is having that problem, but I know I am. And more than likely, it's, it's a user error. So here's the other piece, uh, just drilled and threaded some holes in this, this half inch uh, by four inch cold rolled steel. Now I'm just bolting it down to a fixture plate. I'm using the same fixture plate for the uh, first piece that I drilled there. I guess we'll call that the strap. Even though it's a roughing end mill, it still leaves a decent finish, so I'm going to leave it. I went ahead and made a type 4 puller as well in addition to the type 1 this is phosphoric acid uh, osphro is what I'm using and I'm throwing a zinc nut in there zinc plated <laughs> I don't know if it does anything or not but I read some stuff online I did a few test pieces you can see the zinc bubbling and I put the test pieces in the bathroom which is the most humid place in our house and left it there for about two months and whichever piece had the least amount of corrosion with no oil just after having soaked in the osvo uh, that's the method I went with so here it is after being washed in uh, warm water now I'm just gonna soak it in some uh, linseed oil if I'm not mistaken I think the phosphoric acid just etches the surface to give the oil something to stick to here you can see the gap between the uh, crank gear and that bearing very very small so you can't get a normal puller in there which is why you have to have these special pullers and uh, this probably wouldn't have been as hard if I had taken the distributor drive gear off first but I just decided to try pulling them both at the same time and it worked it's <laughs> it was pretty difficult though And there it is, popped right off. Been needing one of these for a long time and getting by without it. And I know they're commercially available, but I didn't buy all these machines and tools just to give somebody else my money when I can make it myself. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.